I'm going to give you a few little pointers on hoof trimming. And I want to start off by saying I'm not an expert or a farrier. But with oxen, you need to keep an eye on their feet. And even from a young age, as you can see with these calves, uh, their toes are getting a little long. So uh, it's a good idea to keep up on trimming their feet every so often. So let's talk about that. Before we show you how to trim or how I trim, keep in mind that picking up feet should be part of the training process right from the beginning when they're calves. So refer to some of my earlier videos and we'll link those in the description in this particular video. But you want to be as self-reliant as possible and your animals are capable of holding their feet up if you train them to do so. So that should be part of your daily training routine. The condition of the animal's foot and the correct angles are very, very important, and I don't think it's a good idea for us to go through too much detail in that right now. First of all, because like I said, I'm not a farrier. Um, I do this knowing what my animal's feet should be just through observation. But on the details of that, I would encourage you to do some research. But if you do hoof trimming on a regular basis, uh, it will allow you to manipulate your animal's feet and train them to behave in that way but also keep the condition uh, the way that you want it at the angles that you want it. And if you do it on a regular basis, little by little, and don't wait too long, it allows you to keep up on the, the maintenance of your animal's hooves so that uh, it's something that's easy to do on a regular basis. If you keep up on trimming on a regular basis, the only tool you really should need is a good hoof rasp, and you can find one of those at any good livestock supply store. What we're trying to accomplish is to have the proper angle for the hoof. So what you want to do is take a look at the hoof, both by picking it up and as the animal's standing on the ground. And that's probably the most important thing. Uh, look at each side of the hoof. Some may grow a little bit longer. Uh, we want to even those out from side to side and gain the proper angle so the animal has the correct traction and uh, stance when we finally trim the hoof. So the first thing to do is just observe that piece. And now that we've made that observation, pick up the foot and start doing some trimming. Again, go a little bit at a time. Be very, very careful with what you're doing and it's better to take it slow, uh, put the foot down, see how the angle and the stance is, and then if you need to trim a little bit more, go ahead and do that. So I'll show you a quick video here of me trimming feet. Again, you'll see that I'm concentrating on the ends of the hoof and on the two individual pieces of the hoof so that we get them nice and even and the correct length and the correct angle. Oh, oh. 